lives of many in our community in far too many ways that we have the time to talk about this morning. But they've had a passion for giving opportunities to young people, particularly high school and middle school students. They provide employment for them, um, which has really had implications beyond just being a provider of the job. They've really helped instill a sense of self-esteem, a strong work ethic, responsibility, people skills, teamwork, and very importantly, learning how to do the right thing. Chip has uh, been very, very open and honest with his employees about his life and about some of perhaps the mistakes that he's made, some of the challenges he's faced, and believe me, his kids have learned like that. Chip and Renee have a huge family of the kids that, have, that they have made such an impact in their lives. They've been a huge advocate and supporter of many, many things for our schools. They're always willing to go the extra mile in helping with many, many community events. And quite frankly, they have been the core of the glue holding our community together during some very difficult and challenging times for us, and we really appreciate that. They're renowned for doing a lot of little things that they never want credit for, they never want acknowledgement about. Uh, to say that they're humble and modest is quite an understatement. Oh, we can't forget the parade of lights. Where's Mary Sasser? Mary has just a little something to share here, too. And that's technically the unofficial drive-by parade of lights. <laughs> I want to share a little brief story about uh, something that really epitomizes this chair. And if you recall a couple of years ago, a little over two years ago, our one of our garbage truck services stopped and trash on Main Street, which is overflowing all the dumpsters. I walk into the uh, pet room and Chip says, hey, hey there, what are you doing about four o'clock this afternoon? Well, this sounds mysteriously like he's getting ready to be ball and drafted for a job. So Chip explains that he's going to get the trailer from his house, bring it down, dump the trash from his dumpster, and then he's going to go down to China Village, dump their dumpster, and hey, we can't have people driving down Coquille and seeing all this trash on our street, he says. So, okay. I go back over and he's got the truck and he's unloading his trash. And uh, no, before I get there, I walk into the restaurant and one of the waitresses is sucking on a cup of noodles from the noodle store. I said, girlfriend, where'd you get that cup of noodles? And she said, it's my birthday. And my mama felt bad that I had to work in my birthday. So she's sucking on this cup of noodles. Chip runs, dumping the trash, and then here comes Mountain View Waste about a half hour later. To, and he's totally amazed that Chip is doing this himself. And then we find out that Chip's going to go down the street and clean up the rest of the street. He's just as it, as we all were. So the guy's unloading Chip's dumpster into the dump truck and the Mountain View Waste. And out comes the waitress, still sucking on that cup of noodles. And she looks at the dump truck and she says, well, that kind of sucks, huh? I said, what do you mean? She goes, you couldn't roll down a half hour earlier and save Chip all that? <laughs> you know, so I hardly agree. But then I flip it around and I said, well, look at what he's doing. He's not whining and moaning about a situation. He's being a guy, affecting change for the positive. Look what a great example. He's leaving by example. And she agreed with me. And that was the last conversation I had with the kids. But Emily, as well as so many of our other youth, as well as adults, have benefited from the time the chip takes to lead by example. And that's why he's up here today being really embarrassed and humble. And we love, we love you guys. That's all we can say. Dealing with her battle with cancer today and is not able to be here, so please uh, share me and keep the Thomas's in our prayers. So, um, Chip and Renee are truly the epitome of what the Gracie is all about. They're truly the epitome of giving, resourcefulness, caring, involved, exceptional, and indeed of grace itself. And this year, I'd like to add an unofficial letter to Gracie. We're going to have two C's in there. We're going to have the word courage this year. So on behalf of the Platte Canyon Area Chamber of Commerce, it's my true privilege to award this year's Gracie to Chip and Renee Thomas.
this means to me and yeah, that's what I say. Uh, knowing Gracie and being a part of this community, this is this is the uh, unique thing I to get to serve all of you in a manner of doesn't matter what your old disputes were with your neighbor or what your political is or whatever. I get to treat you inside my box just like anyone that walks through the front door. That is, I'm going to give you my best every day, and I can guarantee you that. And then, if we're not happy with each other, that's okay. You're, you're willing to go anywhere else in this world. You're, well, that's my idea. But I'm going to work my hardest to make you as happy as I can. And that's my goal every day. And I never take anyone for granted. And then when I look out here, I see places that I've been able to be for five years, but I do. And I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I want it to be like the first day that you walked in, and I, I, that's what I live by. And I work with the tools that God has given me. And I have to just tell you that um, I've never in my whole life been more at peace and more satisfied with knowing than where I'm supposed to be. And as I tell the kids, we're doing pretty good for a community that's been the help of that. And I, I live on that because each one of us has helped the other to move on in our lives. And right now, what I'm going through, I can't tell you the support that I that I draw from every one of your prayers and, and your caring. So I just want to let you know that this and Gracie, she's one of my angels, as we all know. And um, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, the Board of County Commissioners would also like to award our recipients of their awards today. Lenny Walker and William Whistle could not make it today. So this commissioner is going to read out the resolutions and also give them two of the awards today. I, I've got to say a funny story real quick. About two weeks ago, I walked up to Marie and I said, Marie, congratulations. And I looked on her face and I go, oh, she hasn't been told yet. So I said, oh, sorry. <laughs> she said, John, don't do that to me. So anyway, at least today I get to say congratulations. The first one I will read will be um, Marie's uh, resolution. And it's a